Hello, I'm here with Colleen Gleason and I'm Angela Pridham and uh, we, here we are at the eighth episode of Wine Songs and Good Vibes and this is my casual little uh, video show that I'm doing uh, kind of like my own Wayne's World, you know? Here in the basement. Yeah, <laughs> in my basement. In Michigan studio. we appreciate the basements in the winter, in the summer because they get nice and cool and the rest of the house is hot. So Yeah, you know what? I can't even imagine people without basements. Uh, you know. Like in the south, it's like, how do you live with that? And you know? what happens if a tornado comes? I mean, right? I know. Right? Well, it's not scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not, not enough there's tornadoes in, in Houston anyway, so yeah. Texas? I think there's tornadoes all over. Are my, any of my Texans watching? I know there's tornadoes in Oklahoma. Are there, are are there tornadoes in Texas? I think there might be. I'm not sure. Anyway. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so this is Colleen Gleason. She's an author. We're going to hear a lot more about her um, soon. But first, we're going to talk about the wine. So, of course, let's take a drink here. All right. So, this is a red wine from Michigan. Yes. So, this is... So we Michigan girls are appreciating our, I don't know if you can see this because my Facebook thing is backwards, but it's its from Chateau Chantel. Yeah, Chateau Chantel. Yep. And it's, um, they're naughty red. And it's, you know, Michigan, that region is really most known for their whites. But as a red wine, this is really nice. It's very smooth. It is. I get a little bit of cherry in it, which is not surprising since it's from the cherry capital of the world area, the Traverse, Grand Traverse Bay area, um, which is where my family's from. But I get I get a little bit of cherry. I love the, yeah. uh, the color yeah. of it. It is smooth. It is. I, lo I love the smooth wines, and this is very smooth. It's very good. So, um, so let's talk a little bit about Chateau Chantal. Have you have you been up there? I did. I have been there, and I was lucky oh. enough to spend the night once with some oh, that's friends. Oh, great! So it's a bed it's and breakfast. It's beautiful. It yeah. is, and it's on the peninsula, um, and on either from either side you can see parts of Lake Michigan and the, the Grand Traverse Bay. Grand Traverse Bay, if you don't know. So here, those of you who don't know, this is Michigan sort of like this and this is where Chateau Chantal is and it's Grand Traverse Bay and there's like a little teeny finger that comes up in the middle and Chateau Chantal is right in the middle of it and you can they're up on a hill and you can see the lake from either side it's beautiful wow there. that's great and you know I was looking online at their at their um uh, bed and breakfast and it's gorgeous it it's is absolutely beautiful. gorgeous yes so you can go up there you can do um, tastings in their tasting room you can spend the night um, it's just a beautiful winery in a, in a beautiful area and um, but you might want to book ahead of time because when I was looking at them on the website, it's like occupied, occupied. So they they're they're booked, you know, they're they're booked up like in the near future. So um, it's you know people like it and uh, they they book. Well, one of the things that I've learned is the best time to go is in late September before the fall colors change after everybody goes back to school. And I've heard them say here in Michigan, Michigan is a tourist uh, state, is they like the people to come. They come after Labor Day. It's the mostly dead, the newlyweds and the mostly deads. In other words, the senior citizens and the honeymooners are the people who come to Michigan in, uh, up in northern Michigan to stay you know, during, after Labor Day, before the fall colors. So, so it might be easier to get a place, a room to stay up there at Chateau Chantel. Yeah. After yeah. Labor Day, but before the fall colors. Even if you're not a newly dead, or a near, newly wet, or a new, <laughs> nearly dead, I think I should have another glass of wine at this point. Sorry. Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm getting comments on my um, Facebook. Just real quick, if you're joining us, um, we're on my friend Angela Predom's video. Um, what is it? It's... um. Good vibes, food. What is the name of your video? Wine, <laughs> songs, and good vibes. And I'm broadcasting it live from my page. You're getting to see the behind the scenes. So I also have I'm a at. hashtag. You know, if you search on, um, you know, on YouTube and on Facebook, you'll find it. So the hashtag is uh, hashtag wine, songs, and good vibes. Um, so, anyways, I was doing a little research about Chateau Chantal. Do you do you know about the owners? Uh, maybe it's been a while. Tell me. Oh, I don't it's remember. really really interesting. So um, it is a former Catholic priest and a former Felician sister. No way. And they should they, we tell everybody they what Felician their sisters hearts. are? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know. We know we about know. Felician sisters. Yeah, and they and they um, and they got married after a certain amount of time in service. You know, in their religion. And then, and they had a daughter, um, I believe her name is Marie Chantal. 
So the winery is named after her daughter. Aww. But isn't that cute? That is sweet. Yeah, I, I think, think I vaguely great. remember that from being up there. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah, of my commenters said something about I was. They were joking about me saying newly deads. Yeah. And I write <laughs> vampire novels, so maybe yeah. that's why she jumped on the whole newly dead part. So. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So she. Had, let me see. Let me show the wine again to um, people who are looking on my phone or on my screen. This is it. It's the naughty red. Now, did she not pick the perfect wine for me to come and join her? Oh, I plan this stuff. She's <laughs> <a> dummy. <laughs> yeah. So, um, they also have they also have a nice red, which I believe is a sweeter wine. So, um, so this is the dry one, the naughty red, and the nice red um, has some sweetness to it. I would have That's this with I. a really nice pasta with um, garlic and oil, maybe some spicy peppers in it, lots of mozzarella. Oh, you're a, you're a cook. I like to cook some fresh yeah. basil. I would totally Ooh. have that with, with uh, this wine. It'd be really good. Maybe oh, a caprese great. salad. I'm down. I'm all good. Cool. So. Um, okay, so how about if you tell us about you and your novels? Now, now we are Michigan girls. Oh, let's talk about why we know Felician sisters. <laughs> I don't know if we should admit this. So we we went to a Catholic, all girls Catholic high yeah. school. We graduated together. We're not going to tell you what year it was. It was like 2000. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Of course. <laughs> so uh, and the Felician sisters were the nuns who were at our Catholic high school, and we had to wear uniforms. Plaid skirts, blue knee socks. You cannot, couldn't let. Remember, you couldn't let the socks. I know fall you down. couldn't. You had to be picking them up if they fell down. The nuns would yell at you if you're if you wore slouchy socks. If your socks slouched, and we had to wear. You were yeah. either wearing a. We vest? had a white a vest with a white shirt, or do we have? Well, we had a white a button white blouse and a vest. But then there was a plaid there like skirt. A, wasn't there like a there was blue a sweater? Shirt that, oh, a sweater. Yeah, that's yeah, that was, was an option. It was that's, an option. We had, you could we had minor sweater. options. We had minor options. Yes. So yeah, that's how. That's how so the Felician sisters were the nuns who ran our all girls Catholic high school. And look at us. We both made it. We're both artists. Yeah. Super fun. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all pretty good. cool. So. Um. So, anyways, we are talking about Michigan wine. We're Michigan girls. I understand that you have written some books about Michigan, set in Michigan. I have. I have actually. I've written. Over 40 novels in a variety of genres. So, you know, if you like to read, you probably could find something that I've written that you might like. And if you want to know more about my books, you can look at my website, which I don't know if you can see it in this video, but ColleenGleason.com. You can see all my books are listed there. But I do have a series that I've set in Michigan, in a fictional town in Michigan. And I'm not going to tell you what town it's named after, <coughs> Fogger Talk, but it is in <laughs> Michigan. And there is. Isn't the theme of this video supposed to be romance? Yes, I should have mentioned that. Yeah, our theme tonight, every episode we have a different theme. This theme is romance because Colleen includes a lot of romance and passion in her books. Absolutely, because after all, what makes the world go round, right? Yeah, love and makes the world go round. That's why we have Naughty Red. So that's Naughty Red. That's why Colleen, she picked Naughty Red. She yeah. could have picked the mauve sex, but she picked the Chateau Chantel Naughty Red because we're not that crazy. We're just fun. <laughs> yeah. we went to Catholic school. Uh, anyway, I write a series. We're just a little naughty. <laughs> oh, come on, speak for yourself. <laughs> Um, I do write a series called the Wix Hollow series, and um, this is the first book in the series. I know you can't really see the title because my finger's on it, but it is set in a fictional town in Michigan, and it is a rom-com with a murder mystery with ghosts. So there's wow. a ghost, there's a murder, and there's some romantic elements. So romance. Um, they actually do drink Michigan wine in this book specifically. They talk about the region that we're talking about, the wine, in this particular book, and um, if you uh, don't mind having a little bit of creep factor with the ghost ghostliness, and you don't mind murder mysteries, uh, you might enjoy the read. It's there. It's the first in a series of four books, and there'll be more coming. The other fun part That's of this new? book, um, they come out over the last couple years. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So the fourth book just came out last year, about this time. It's about a neurotic writer on deadline who is trying to finish a book, and I'm sure that there's no comparison between me and this writer at all. There's nothing about me in this book about this writer who's on deadline, who's neurotic, who's <laughs> yeah. trying to get this book done. She ends up having to share a lighthouse cottage with a microbiologist. But anyway, and, and hijinks ensue. Um, so I forgot what I was saying about... The, oh, so they're all set in the same small town, and there is this group called the Tuesday Ladies, and they're all the ladies that I want to be when I grow up. Mm. They're all, they range in age from 60 to 80, there, two of them are avid Scrabble players. One of them's a yoga teacher. One of them's a former chemical engineer. Um, one of them is a librarian, and they basically help matchmake in each one of these books. 
where there's always a romantic element, there's always a murder mystery, and there's always a ghost, and they're always interfering in every single book. So there's a lot of fun with these old ladies who really kind of run the town. So these are books that are set in Michigan, but um, I have also written That's a fun. thriller series that yeah. is, there's not hardly, there's hardly no romance in it. There's hardly any romance in it. That's what I meant to say. And so those of you who aren't into the spicy scenes, you might be able to get along in those books. And I didn't bring them with me, but they're called the Marina Alexander books. They are um, Siberian Treasure and Amazon Roulette. And both of those books have parts that take place in Lower Michigan in the Ann Arbor area and also in the Upper Peninsula. And in fact, the second book, which is called Amazon Roulette, um, is all about the copper up in the very upper part of the Upper Peninsula up in, in, co in the Copper Harbor area. And it uh, builds into a whole big international thriller. So those books, even though there's not a lot of romance in it, they're set in Michigan. And okay, okay. And That's cool. So, well, that sounds great. Um, so did you, what, what's your favorite kind of book to write? Um, you know, it really depends. And that's one of the reasons I write so many different things is because I like to try different genres. So I've written historical mysteries. I've written a historical mystery series set during the Lincoln presidency. There's a little bit of romance in this, not too spicy, but a little more romance than is in my, my Marina Alexander book. So I like historical mystery a lot. I also write vampire stories where we have a vampire hunter in historical times. Mm. So I write different things, and it depends what kind of mood I'm in for what I write. So I'm lucky to be able to write different things. But you write different kinds of music. I mean, yeah. you have different fields you So you get it. You like to try I do get things. it because, yeah, I would be bored out of my mind just doing the same style. You know, like sometimes you put on albums by people, and everything's kind of the same. And, you know, it, it's nice to have a cohesiveness. Like if you want like a down-tempo thing for your dinner or something. My albums never work for that because they're, they're different. You know, I have some upbeat stuff. I have some slow stuff, um, some soulful stuff. So, um, yeah, I definitely like to mix it up just for my own enjoyment because I just feel like it would be boring to do all of the same style. And you probably feel the same way. Exactly. I'm, I'm very yeah. fortunate. I think we're both fortunate that we can do different things and, and use our art in this. In you know, you still be artistic, but also express our creativity in different ways. We're pretty lucky. I know. I know. It's great. You're going to play for us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> well, I'm going to turn the, the, okay. my phone so, you, they can, so people can see you as you play your song. So this is a song um, I wrote a few years back it's called natural and um it's a love song it's it's just about how you know it's we're natural we're unnatural together um <laughs> i never had somebody so close <laughs> sorry <laughs> but it's okay this is how i feel if i'm writing and somebody's like over my shoulder know, and i'm trying to write i'm only doing that so if people come to my facebook live page and like who is You'll this see. person on colleen's facebook live yeah. right i'm just gonna move back a little bit oh that's okay i'll move up yeah okay just don't i don't think we were having we were having technical difficulties hit. okay oh is that what you're worried about oh i can yeah yeah you won't all right okay i'll move so back. good because this right, thing kind of moves and you know okay so here we go with natural this song was released in 2015 here we go Out of the rain
while she's putting her guitar away, I'll just say, if you're joining us, this is Colleen Gleason, but I'm hanging with my friend Angela Pridham, who's a singer-songwriter. We went to high school together and yeah. uh, connected. And funny thing is, if you remember how we connected, I was driving through my downtown I where I live. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And I saw her name. This is like, I don't know, 15 years ago, maybe? maybe I saw 10, her name 10. on a placard. I started performing in like... 2008, maybe? So probably was around then. Yeah. I, and I saw her name, Angela Predom, on the, uh, the you know, outside sign for a bar. And I'm like, I went to high school with a girl named Angela Predom. So I dragged Music Man to go see her. It turned out to be a gal I went to high school with. And here we are, and, you know, whatever, 11 yeah. years later, yeah, doing yeah. a video together. Kind I'm of glad fun. we reconnected because yeah, we, we were friends. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, in fact, do you remember when we watched Purple Rain at your oh house? My. Yes. <laughs> Oh, we're now we're really aging ourselves. I know. Oh, we, I know. we didn't say it was just out. That's true. We, did, we weren't at the theater. It wasn't just out. Was it? Yeah. Was it just? No, out? no, no it wasn't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. So super. So anyway, yeah. kind of fun. We're really lucky to both be able to make a living, yeah. or somewhat of a living anyway, with our our art. So the yeah, Felician sisters fantastic. would be proud of us. Well, here here's a toast to for our our arts being our able arts? to pursue our arts and indeed and the art yeah. of michigan winemaking i mean we're yeah. you know that's really wonderful so yeah i was really happy to reconnect with you in brighton because um can i say that oh. <laughs> anyways so yeah in, in the area where we live actually i don't i don't live in brighton we live in uh we live in kind of different areas but anyways, I was happy to connect with people in this area um, because where we went to high school with was a different area and it's like commutable, but it's not really around here. So, um, so it's pretty cool and uh, it's good to know some people in town because neither, neither one of us went to high school in this particular town. Yeah, right. Exactly. We yeah. went to high school quite a ways away, actually. And that's yeah. why it's strange we ended up in the same town raising our families, our respective families. So real quick hi to the people who just joined us on my live. I recognize all you people. Hello. So I'm going to say too, like in case you can't read this for whatever reason. Um, so tell us what that top says and what is the freebie? So um, the, it's a URL and I think Angela is going to put it in the notes when she posts yes, this video. Yes, I will put it, all the stuff in the notes. But if you want to check out one of my books, it's a link to download a free copy of one of my books. It's actually this book right here. It's The Rest Falls Away. It's the first book in, um, it's actually the first book that I ever licensed to a publisher and was published. It is a vampire hunter so in the time of Jane Austen. So kind of like a Buffy meets Jane Austen. And if you go to the URL, which I will read to you in a minute, you can download an ebook version of that book for free. Or if you go to my URL to my main website, you can check out um, all the books that I write. Like I mentioned, I write a lot of different genres. So the URL to download a free book is cgbks.com forward slash freebie. That's F-R-E-E-B-I-E. -E -E. And my website where it lists all of the different books that I write. And trust me, you're going to find something on there I think that you're going to want to read. The only thing I don't write is horror. And if you consider vampires horror, well, then I guess I write horror. It's ColleenGleason.com. has all my um, books on there as well. And for my viewers, if you um, check out, I wrote in the notes, I'm with Angela Predom. You can check out her music on Spotify. And um, you can find her Apple through music Facebook. Too. Apple Music as well. Pandora. Pandora. Hey, everywhere. So very good. So you can check out her music and you can check out my books. So here we are. Oh, that's All cool. good. All yeah, good. Yeah. And Angela's got a gig she's doing in a couple weeks. Yes. So um, August 27th, I'm going to be um, at the Brighton Coffee House and Theater, Brighton, <coughs> Michigan. And it's a really cute coffee house. They, you know, they, they have a stage and they, um, they're actors that own it. So they sometimes do theater productions. Um, so this is a benefit for Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, and it's a variety show um, put on by by um, a friend so of a ours. Friend, yeah. So, um, anyways, there's going to be a lot of different bands. It's like an old timey variety show. Some is going to be some sort of comedy, um, but I'm just playing a few of my songs there. And what's really cool is it it's right after um, a single releases of mine. So I have a single coming out called Sweet Delectable You. And um, I will be performing that there. And do you know about this? Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so you referred me to the filmmaker that's doing my video. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so she referred me to the filmmaker. And um, 
who's doing my video. I have a guy. I have a guy for everything. Yeah, I, she, she does. She really does. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's a guy. And um, he, he did this filming in, in like downtown Brighton, Michigan, where the Brighton coffee house and theater is. And actually it's their daughter. Um, her name is Macy Goller or Goller. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. She is the lead in my video. It's like a little story. So it's going to be really cool that um, I'm going to be performing the song there and the family is involved with the video because um, we did a lot of the filming there and, um, and she's in it and it'd be cool if I could think of some way to get her on stage to do something. Probably. Yeah. You yeah. probably could. Well, and the other thing I want to mention is if you're in the Bright Michigan area and you want to come to this, my, some of you who follow me on Facebook know that my son has cystic fibrosis. So this is um, a charity that's near and dear to my heart for a number of reasons and so if you're able to come and see this variety show that'd be completely awesome and then the night the next night if you're in Michigan I'm doing a book signing at Paige's bookshop in Detroit with two other Michigan authors who also write historical mysteries and then the next night which is Thursday which will be August 29th I'm doing a book signing at Nicholas books in Ann Arbor with the same two mystery authors so you could really get if oh, you're in the cool. Michigan area you could really f get your fill of artistic support of, Mich of we Michigan ladies because you could go three nights in a row and support our art or spread the word and let your friends know too. Yeah, okay, okay, well, anyways, so yeah, we have plenty of good vibes with us. I mean, it's just amazing that we're able to do this. You I know, know. That, you know, and I don't, I mean, the truth is I don't like getting older. I mean, who does as a woman? But we are getting better and better in our crafts. Oh, totally. And yeah. I mean, you know what they so, say about wines? Yeah. Is the, the better they are, the more the more aged they are, the better, I think. Isn't that what they say? Yeah, That's what but I say. you are probably... Yes, there are still yeah. tickets for the uh, for the variety show. Please get them through the Brighton Coffee House and Theater. Dot com. You can find it that way. People are asking on my Oh, okay. See. Yeah, Brighton Coffee House and Theater. Um, dot com. You can get the tickets there. Um, I would get them pretty quick because it's I think limited that space. It's, it it's is limited, limited space, space so and I think they them. were they were filling up. They they there was mention of a second show, but there's not a second show yet, so that means they're the tickets are gone. Yeah. So um, very good. Yeah, yeah, but um, anyways. Anything well, else? here we are. This is our Wayne's World yeah. in Angela's yeah. basement. It's been good. <laughs> the wine's good. The company's good. I think yeah. we've had a good time. We didn't have any real technical difficulties, so that's good. Yeah. I think we did pretty good with you setting up your live like a couple of minutes before. Figured why not? We might as well yeah, try, yeah, you know? So. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is, so Colleen Gleason, you spell her name just in case you can't read anything or you're not looking at the show notes. It's um, Colleen, C-O-L-L-E-E-N, and then G-L-E-A-S-O-N, the nice Irish. You must be Irish. A little teensy bit, mostly oh, okay. French, though. No. Yeah, so ColleenGleason.com, and she is doing, so is this going to be on your page? This My video? Yeah. If I know how video. to do it. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'm, I think after, if I can... after you click finish, it'll just say post, and if you say yes, oh then well, then I'll then, then apparently this will be on my yeah. page. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently this will be on my out, page. You can find out a lot more about Colleen um, from looking her up. She's everywhere. She's a New York Times bestselling author. Before we go, tell us about that. Like the the best selling author, how does that work? I, well, I have no idea how. Well, they chart you know, that stuff. when when they say when you're a New York Times bestselling author, the the truth is. The New York Times bestselling author is decided mainly by the publishers. If they want you to be a New York Times bestselling author, then they will um, basically make sure that your book does well enough. And um, the kind of like a major label of music. Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. So yeah. really, if you if you are looking for so often the New York Times bestseller list comes out before the actual week that it's stating oh, really? that it's so, a bestseller. Oh. So there's a little. Manip hey, Darlene, there's a little manipulation going on there. And so uh, basically, if you are, you know, looking for a, if you're looking for a book that's sold well, you want to look for something that's a USA Today bestseller because that's actually and you're about that numbers. Too. I you're am. That too. Multiple yeah. USA Today, once New York Times, and that was just sort of a fluke. But I'm still a bestselling author, so I'm sticking with that. Well, you know what? I mean, I've been in Target and seen your books, so, you know, are yeah, they at Target and Meyer and Some everywhere? of them are. Um, and... You know, the book business has changed a mm -hmm. lot in the last 10 years since 
the uh, since ebooks became popular because the whole dynamic has changed. But which the same has happened with music. Mm-hmm. You don't go into music stores anymore, and people don't generally go into bookstores anymore. And the book sections are shrinking. Most people buy their books online, whether they're print or ebooks. So things have changed a lot. And I think the biggest problem we have, and probably what you have as a, as a musician, is people finding your your stuff. Like if they're not familiar with you, finding your work. It's mm-hmm. discoverability. So uh, the the business has changed a lot, um, in positive ways and negative ways. So it's it's a it's a strange. But your business. books are still out there in in physical places. There are yes. Um, yeah. My um, this book just came out in paperback. I think this week or last week, and this you you should be able to find in most bookstores. Uh, this is the second book in my Lincoln's White House Mystery Series. If you like the Civil War, if you like histor- history, if you like mysteries, you might enjoy that series. It's all about murders, fictional murders, that are set during very specific times uh, during the Lincoln presidency. So the se- th- this series is in the bookstores. Um, this is another series that I write. This is the Stoker and Holmes series that I wrote for teens through adult. I only have two books with me, but the fifth and final book comes out next Thursday, and I'm very excited about that. But these books are in the bookstores as well. You know, some of them are in the bookstores. Some of them are, um, you can only get online because the bookstores don't keep them very long because they don't have very many shelves. You know, they don't have a lot of shelf space, and there's a Mm -hmm. lot of books coming out, and they always want to make room for the latest James Patterson, the latest Stephen King, you know, the latest Nora Roberts. Stephen King is still writing? Oh, he is, yeah. Oh, wow. Yes, indeed. Yes, he is, so... So it's a very interesting time to be alive. I yeah. have read, so. <laughs> yeah, well, check out Colleen's books. Thanks, and, and check uh, out Angela's music. Yeah, that particular song was released in 2015 on my album called Will, and that one is called Natural. So um, you might want to check that out on uh, however you like to listen to music. You know, if you like Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora. Um, I think you could probably find it on YouTube also, but I'm not sure. Um, so, anyways, well, one thank more you so la- much. Let's do one more last um, show of the of the wine bottle. I mean, definitely go and find the uh, Naughty Red at the at the uh, yeah Naughty grocery red. stores if you can. Let's show my people too. The Naughty Red by Chateau Chantel here in Michigan. So we have two Michigan artists and Michigan wine. What a great what a great time to be from Michigan. It really is. I love it here. We're very lucky, aren't yeah. we? All right. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for Thanks being for here. Thanks us. a lot, everyone. Bye bye. All right. See you next week. <laughs>